Why cybersecurity certificates fail you? Here's the thing guys, I get this question a lot from so many people who are asking me like what is the best certificate to, to get to in order to get a really good job in cybersecurity? And they tell me like, oh, is it like CCNA or CH or CISP or well, there's so many different certificates in, on that world, it's so many of them. But here's the thing guys, if you want to be unique when you apply for a job, these certificates, the whole certification business, it's not about making you unique. You see, for a certificate to be known in the market, it has to have an abundance of people, so many people who already have this certificate, so the hiring managers can know about this certificate and can know if it's credible or not, or they actually look at it in the resume. By having so many people who have the exact same certificate, it is so common that you go and apply for a job and you have someone else in the same uh, in the same interview who have the exact same certificate as you or the same group of certificates as you. Maybe not only one person, but there is five people, ten people or even more who have the exact same certificates or even more than the certificates that you have. If you look at like CCNA for example or CH and you search for these uh, certificates uh, on LinkedIn, you will see there's hundreds of thousands of people who actually acquire the exact same certificate that you are trying to acquire. If you really want unique in business, you really need to have something that is unique to you, something that proves that you have the technical skills, you have the practical skills. You see. I have worked in Symantec for three years, I have worked in Tenable, and they both are n very known uh, American companies. Uh, Symantec is actually the author of Norton Antivirus, um, and uh, uh, Tenable is also the author of Nexus, which is a very known uh, hacking or kind of ethical hacking tool or a, or a scanning tool. And um, I have also been interviewed in, in different companies, including Microsoft, including um, Kaspersky, and many others. And here's the thing. Despite all of that, I don't have even one certificate in that field. I don't even have a degree in computer science. I have zero certificates in cybersecurity, but I have a proof of my skills. When I started, I have uh, wrote an analysis for a malware called Stuxnet, which is one of the most known viruses at that time, back in 2011. And with that analysis, I was able to, to get the exposure, and I was able to prove that I know something about cybersecurity. I have the technical skills, I have the passion, I have the dedication, and I did the work by myself. And from the time I have published that analysis, six months, in the range of six months after, I got five different uh, job offers, like interview offers, from five different companies. One was Briefix, uh, that, uh, for, like, uh, that's acquired by a company called Webroot, and I got, them, the, I got the request from the manager of the malware analysis and threat intelligence, and he asked me to work with them and to submit my resume and go through the interviewing process. After that, I got also a request from an Italian company. I get from Komodo, which I worked with for a few months. I got from a company called Egisert that's back in Egypt and another company called Qcert in Qatar. And one year and a half later, I got to work in Semantic in the attack investigation team, which actually built just after the Stuxnet malware. The thing here, guys, you need to find what is the thing that you can do, what is the research, the analysis paper, the, the project, the, the small program, the small uh, project that you can write by yourself that can prove that you have the knowledge and you have the practical skills. You see, with all these certificates, companies companies know that they will have to they, they have to help these candidates to actually get from the theory they have learned out of this certificate to have the practical skills to actually able to help the company.
But when they hire someone who has the technical skills, who has the practical skills, who is ready to be plugged in, that is the person that they really want. This is the person who can solve their problem. This is the one they are searching for. They know that this person, will, they will not spend months or, or a year to get that person up to speed. They can just bring him, plug him in inside the team, and he's ready to work. So my advice to you guys, find what is the, the project, the analysis paper, the research paper that can prove your skills. And that's what will help you be unique in the market, find the awesome job you are looking for, and get paid handsomely for it. See you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.